Welcome. Click on the red help button if you're not sure what to do. Tourists come from all over the world to visit the nature reserves of the African savanna. The grasslands are home to many birds and animals, including elephants and lions. They are a spectacular sight when seen in their natural habitat. Near the equator, hot and humid rainforest covers much of the land. Rare species of animal, like the mountain gorilla, live here. Lemurs are found only on the island of Madagascar, just off Africa's east coast. Made up of 52 different countries, the African continent is a rich and varied mixture of peoples and cultures. Highly populated modern cities form a sharp contrast to the tribal lifestyles that many Africans still live today. Many animated films today are created using computers. This way, far fewer illustrations have to be drawn by hand, compared with traditional cell animation. Computer-generated animation also makes films seem far more like real life than traditional animation ever could. In July 1969, a Saturn V rocket took three US astronauts and their Apollo 11 spacecraft to the moon. Neil Armstrong was the first person to set foot on the moon's surface. As he stepped off the ladder, he said, That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. To help them get around easily, the astronauts used a moon buggy. Driving and walking on the moon are very different from moving around on Earth. Australasia is the world's smallest continent. The main island is Australia. At its centre are large open areas of empty desert called the bush. Many of the animals that live here are not found anywhere else in the world. In the warm waters of the island's northern coast lies the Great Barrier Reef. The main population of Australia lives near the coast, in big cities like Darwin and Sydney. These modern cities have only grown up during the last 200 years, since explorers from Europe first colonised the island. Many travellers come to the islands of Australasia every year to enjoy the exotic scenery and the tropical climate. As a bat flies through the air, it sends out short bursts of high-pitched clicks through its mouth and nose, which spread outwards from its head like ripples on a pond. When an insect flies in front of the bat, these ultrasound ripples bounce off it. The echoes are picked up by the bat's ears and are understood by its brain, telling it what the object is and where it is. As the bat chases its prey, these ultrasound waves are sent out more rapidly in order to give the bat a much more accurate picture of where the insect is. The bat strikes with pinpoint accuracy, seizing the moving target with its sharp teeth. These four green lights show how we can count using the binary system. Each of the lights has a different value when it's switched on. From left to right, 
These values are 8, 4, 2 and 1. See if you can follow the pattern of lights as they count from 1 to 15. The number 5 is made up of 4 and 1, 6 is 4 and 2, and so on, all the way to 15. The number 15 is made up of 8, 4, 2 and 1, so all of the lights are on. If we used 5 lights, we could count up to 31, and with 6 lights, we could reach 63. An English oak begins its growing period in the spring. Buds burst open and new leaves grow quickly. During the summer, the leaves collect energy from sunlight, producing the tree's food. As autumn approaches, the tree takes in nutrients from its leaves before shedding them together with its acorns. During the winter, the tree stops growing. The next year's shoots are dormant, protected from the cold. The force of an engine is created by a set of pistons, moving up and down over and over again. Here you can see one piston. A single movement up or down is called a stroke. During the first stroke, the piston moves down, sucking a mixture of air and petrol into a container called a cylinder. Next, the piston moves up, squeezing the mixture into the space above. This second stroke heats the mix. Then a spark from the spark plug ignites the mixture. This explosion forces the piston down on its third stroke, creating the engine's power. Finally, during the fourth stroke, the piston rises again and the burned gases are forced out as exhaust fumes. A millipede looks like a worm, but there is one major difference. It has lots of legs to help it walk. A millipede moves by lifting up each pair of legs in turn. This looks like ripples passing along its body. The name millipede means a thousand footed, but none have quite that many feet. Some species though do have several hundred. All fireworks work because of chemical changes. Most are made with a fast burning explosive called gunpowder. When gunpowder is heated, a chemical reaction takes place, causing the gunpowder to burn or explode. The incredible energy released by the explosion forces the firework high up into the sky. A variety of substances can be mixed with gunpowder to create different chemical changes. These changes can add colour to the flames and create special sound effects. In the late 1960s, groups of young Chinese communists, or Red Guards, demonstrated in the Cultural Revolution. China's leader, Chairman Mao, encouraged them to attack teachers, officials and even parents who failed to follow communist principles. The Cultural Revolution caused chaos and hundreds of thousands of people died before order was restored. Christian beliefs center around the life of Jesus Christ. All over the world, Christians enter into the church first through baptism and later through a ceremony of confirmation. Baptism can happen at any age. Within the Catholic Church, great emphasis is placed on ceremony. Catholic churches themselves are very ornate and some services involve rituals dating back hundreds of years. But over time, Christianity has also had to evolve. Only very recently have women been allowed to take some of the same roles within the church as men. Different communities have also adapted the Christian faith to suit their own cultural needs. At night, when most people are inside, raccoons come out of their hiding places in search of a meal. They have adapted well to living in cities and towns. Raccoons eat anything they can find, feasting on food that has been thrown away. They are intelligent animals and use their paws like hands to help them climb and grip. People do not usually realise that their garden is full of raccoons, although their dog might. The Parthenon is an ancient Greek temple in the city of Athens. It is rectangular in shape and built entirely of marble. 
Columns surround the temple on all sides. The Parthenon contains a central enclosed space called a cella. Inside is a huge gold and ivory statue of Athena, the patron goddess of Athens. The Earth's continents slide around the globe very, very slowly. Between 600 and 200 million years ago, the land masses moved together into one giant supercontinent called Pangaea. Then it started splitting apart into the continents we recognize today. Each continent continues to move by a few millimeters each year. Swan Lake is one of the most challenging classical ballets ever written. It tells the story of Princess Odette, who has been turned into a swan by a wicked wizard. She is freed from the spell when a young man called Siegfried falls in love with her, but sadly, they both die at the end. The ballet is full of complicated pas de deux moves and other difficult steps, demanding much skill and concentration from the dancers. Swan Lake is one of the most popular ballets still produced today. Throughout history, many famous ballerinas have taken the leading role of the graceful swan. When using explosives for demolition, the way a building falls depends upon its shape and where the explosive charges are placed. Some large rectangular shaped buildings seem to disappear into the ground, while huge industrial cooling towers cave in, twisting out of shape as they come crashing down. Sixty-five million years ago, a large asteroid struck the Earth. Many scientists believe that this led to the death of the dinosaurs. The impact would have destroyed rocks and thrown dust and water droplets into the air. As a result, the planet would have been covered with clouds, causing cold, stormy weather. Many plants and animals would not have survived the change in temperature. Not all excavations are carried out in the open air. This diver is excavating part of a Bronze Age village settlement that lies beneath the waters of Loch Tay in the Scottish Highlands. He has found what appears to be a large spoon, which has been beautifully preserved by the peaty waters of the loch. He carefully frees the spoon from the loch bed and places it in a crate. This protects it from the water's movements as it is raised to the surface because it is very fragile and could easily break. The wooden spoon, which might have been used to mix porridge, was last used by Bronze Age people around two and a half thousand years ago. It is a major find for the excavation team. Teams of men would probably have dragged the massive sandstone blocks over land on sleds or rollers. Each stone may have been raised by pushing the base into a hole, throwing a rope around the top, and then pulling it up. Once the upright stones were in position, the builders would probably have made an earth ramp. Next, using rollers and ropes, a team of men would have dragged a horizontal stone, called a lintel, up the ramp and into place on top of the upright stones. To build their homes, early people used whatever materials were available. In the Russian Ukraine, homes like this were built from the skins and bones of animals that the people hunted. At first, a frame was built from branches or long bones. Then curved mammoth tusks were used for roof arches. This framework was covered with animal hides, which were weighed down with mammoth jaws and other bones to stop them tearing in the wind. Inside, a fire was built to keep the shelter warm. When you hear a sound, a number of things happen. First, your ear flap collects sound waves and funnels them along a small tube called the ear canal. At the end, they hit a thin layer of skin, the eardrum. The sound waves cause the eardrum to vibrate, just like when you hit the skin of a drum. This makes the three tiny ossicle bones vibrate. The vibrations are then carried deeper into your ear, to the snail-shaped part of your ear, called the cochlea. Here, in the cochlea, the sound vibrations are turned into nerve messages. 
These messages then travel along the cochlear nerve to the brain. Once in the brain, they are interpreted and recognised as either sounds you know or as new sounds. There were huge celebrations in South Africa when Nelson Mandela, leader of the African National Congress Party, was released in 1990. He had been in prison for 27 years. His release gave people hope that equality for all races could be achieved. The continent of Europe stretches from the cold climates of the north down through the snowy alpine mountains to the milder Mediterranean countries in the south. Alongside traditional ways of life, the warmer weather attracts many holiday makers. The varying climates make for a wide variety of natural habitats, including coastlines, lakes and forests, which are home to many species of bird and animal. Small market towns in France are a great place to sample local European food in its traditional setting. In Venice, special boats called gondolas take visitors through the narrow canals for a unique view of the city. Throughout Europe, there are many such places, rich in history and culture, waiting to be explored. When you look at something, light rays bounce off the object and enter your eye through the pupil. This light is then focused by both the cornea, the clear layer at the front of your eye, and your eye's lens. This makes it fall onto the retina at the back of your eye, and a picture is made. But the picture is upside down. This is when your brain helps out. Messages in the form of nerve signals are sent along a special nerve to the brain. Your brain sorts out the messages so that you not only see things, but see them the right way up. There were great celebrations in November 1989 when the Berlin Wall was demolished. The wall was a symbol of communist power in Europe and opening it up marked the end of the Cold War. The wall once surrounded West Berlin to stop people leaving the communist east. The wall was topped with barbed wire and was defended by armed guards. Many people died trying to cross it. The young flatfish swims upright and looks like any other fish larva, with an eye on each side of its head. As it grows, it undergoes a remarkable transformation, changing its body shape and the position of its eyes. Within a few weeks, it has become a flat, bottom-dwelling fish. As an adult, it's able to camouflage its skin pattern. Seen through a powerful microscope, which magnifies hundreds of times, Sperm look like tiny tadpoles. Their long thrashing tails enable them to swim through a woman's womb and into her fallopian tubes in search of an egg. If they meet an egg, the sperm cluster around it, still thrashing their tails as they try to enter the egg. Just one sperm out of many millions may succeed. If this happens, the egg is fertilized. Then, over the next nine months, it will gradually develop into a human baby. Alfred Hitchcock became known as the master of suspense. In his long career, he made many films called thrillers that had audiences on the edge of their seats with fear, as well as using music and sound to great effect. Each scene was planned very carefully so that the camera angles, the position of the actors, and the style of the sets all added to the tension of the plot. His early British films were silent thrillers. Later, in films like The 39 Steps and The Lady Vanishes, he managed to mix comedy and romance with thrills and suspense, creating fear and mystery in the lives of the most ordinary people. When a snooker cue hits a ball, the force of the knock causes the ball to start moving in a straight line until it hits another ball. The force of this collision then causes the white ball to change direction. The same force also causes the red ball to start moving. Friction will then cause both balls to slow down until eventually they stop moving altogether. Anything that moves or makes a sound does so as a result of some force or energy. On a roller coaster ride, changing forces push and pull the car causing it to travel at different speeds and in different directions. 
Even the enormous supporting frames and roller coaster tracks remain in place as a result of different forces acting together. All forces require energy. There are many different types of energy, including the sounds we hear, the light we see, and the heat we feel from the sun. The Venus flytrap is the world's most spectacular hunting plant. Insects are attracted to its shiny leaves, but are caught and digested when the trap snaps shut. Helpless animals trigger the trap by touching tiny hairs on the leaves. The plant only seems to snap shut on insects that provide a big meal, though, allowing smaller insects to walk away. Once the flytrap's jaw-like leaves have closed on its prey, there is no escape. Powerful acids within the plant start attacking the insect and dissolve it completely. Frogs have small lungs, but the sounds they make are made much louder by sacs beside their throats, which they fill with air. Frogs tend to call at night. The sound can sometimes be heard over two kilometers away. Like all machines, gears make work much easier. They do this by connecting two gear wheels together. By turning one wheel, the other wheel also turns. A small gear wheel can make a larger one turn with greater force. This is what happens when you use a can opener. A large gear wheel can make a smaller one turn with less force, but with much greater speed. This is useful when you want a bike to pick up speed on a flat surface. When constructing a bar chart, we start by drawing an x-axis. This will tell us what information we are dealing with. In this case, it is people in the US who play baseball, divided into age groups. We also need to add a y-axis. The y-axis tells us how many people from each age group play baseball. If we add bars, we can see that more people in the 7 to 11 year old age bracket play baseball than any other group in the United States. Ten days ago, this hanging chrysalis was a caterpillar, but inside the small case, an amazing transformation has taken place. Gradually, the adult butterfly now pushes itself free. Its wings are crumpled from being squashed, so the butterfly pumps blood through the wings to make them strong and practices rolling out its long proboscis or tongue. After about an hour, the wings are beautifully coloured they are now ready to carry the butterfly off to find its first meal. Your heart beats, or pumps, about once every second. Each beat sends blood surging through your body. As the blood enters the heart, it flows through the upper chambers and into the lower chambers. When the lower chambers are full of blood, they squeeze inwards to push the blood out of the heart. This squeezing also closes two flaps called valves. The closing of these valves makes the first loud lub sound. As the blood leaves the heart, a second set of valves slams shut to stop any blood flowing back. This closing makes the second sharper dup sound. When you heat water or another liquid in a saucepan, the energy it absorbs makes the liquid get warmer. Tiny particles, called molecules, which make up the liquid, start to move faster and further and take up more room. If a liquid is heated to a high enough temperature, it boils and the molecules move even faster. At the same time, some of the liquid becomes a gas or vapour. The boiling liquid will not get any hotter, even if it is still being heated. This ferocious moray eel has very sharp teeth for killing and eating its prey. Small fish that swim too near are grabbed by the hungry eel's snapping jaws. But one kind of fish has developed a clever trick to help it stay alive. When pounced on by the waiting eel, the tiny fish puffs itself up and becomes so large that the frustrated eel cannot eat it. 
The eel tries and tries, but is unable to fit the inflated puffer fish into its narrow jaws. The lucky fish escapes as soon as it can, leaving the eel still hungry. The rib cage protects the body's major organs, including the liver, the lungs and the heart. The ribs are just some of 206 bones that make up the skeleton of an adult human. The skull is made up of 22 individual bones and protects the most important sensory organs as well as the brain. The brain is the body's main control center. Different areas of the brain take care of different functions. Protected by the spine, the spinal cord carries information between the brain and the rest of the body, providing shape, protection, and enabling movement by acting as an anchor to the muscles. The skeleton supports the whole body system. Chimpanzees are the closest animal relatives that we have. Like humans, they live in groups or societies. Scientists think that studying ape societies may help us to understand how our ancestors lived. They are intelligent mammals, using tools more than any other animal apart from people. This clever chimp has realized that nuts are much easier to open with the help of a stick. Britain was the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution, and it was there that many new machines were invented that changed the world forever. Cotton, cloth and other goods could now be mass-produced using huge steam-powered looms and spinning machines. The massive machines were too big to use at home, and they were housed in large factories. The factory workers, many of them children, often worked under terrible conditions next to the dangerous machinery. They worked for long hours and were badly paid. Steam locomotives were also developed and were used to build up a railway network, transporting people and the newly mass-produced goods all around the country. Many modern jet planes are powered by four jet engines called turbofans. Before takeoff, enormous amounts of air are drawn into each engine by rotating fan blades. Some of the air flows into the bypass duct and some flows into the engine core, where its pressure is increased by compressor blades. Then, the compressed air enters the combustion chambers. Here, it is mixed with kerosene, which ignites, producing hot gases. Finally, the exhaust gases combine with the bypass air and the mixture is forced out of the rear of the engine, pushing the plane forwards with tremendous force. 10,000 years ago, there was thick forest in many of the places where towns and cities now stand. People lived by hunting animals and made clothing from animal skins. 5,000 years ago, people began to plant crops. They cut down more forests and built fences to protect their animals. Gradually, they began to build stronger houses. By the Middle Ages, little of the forest was left and crops were grown in huge fields belonging to one landowner. In the 1800s, industries developed and towns grew. Terraces of workers' cottages appeared. These cottages have since made way for office and apartment blocks. In modern factories, many goods are made by fast-working machines called robots, as well as skilled human workers. While the robots help to speed up many parts of the manufacturing process, workers carry out their own specific jobs on the assembly line, often repeating the same task over and over again. A period begins when the lining of the uterus breaks away and comes out through the vagina as a trickle of blood. By the end of the period, the lining of the uterus starts to thicken again. And a new egg has already started to ripen inside an ovary. About 14 days before the next period, the ripe egg is released into the fallopian tube. It travels along the tube towards the uterus. During this time, the lining of the uterus thickens even more. If the egg does not join a sperm, the lining of the uterus breaks away and a period starts again. Nobody has yet discovered the meaning of the signs and symbols that run in a spiral on both sides of the Phaistos disc. 
The symbols on the back of the disc are similar to those on the front. They appear in groups, separated by a line drawn with a pen called a stylus. Each group may represent a word. Some of the symbols look like familiar objects. Here you can see a bird, a round shield and a head with a plume. The meaning of the fourth symbol in this group is a mystery. Yurts were quick to build and easy to take apart, suiting the Mongols' wandering way of life. They were made of wooden poles latticed together to form a circle that measured about six metres across. The roof was made of wooden rafters. The whole framework was covered in animal skins or thick felt mats, which were held in place by heavy ropes. A rolled up mat above the entrance could be pulled down to keep out wind and rain. You can slide down a water slide because both the surface of the slide and the surface of your body are smooth, meaning that there is little friction to stop you moving. At a water slide, people launch themselves into action by pushing off at the top. The force of gravity then pulls them down the slide. To travel down as fast as possible, it is best to lie flat, keeping your legs together. This makes a streamlined shape that moves easily through the water and the air. A person stops moving when they fly off the slide and land in the water with a splash. Caribou dwell in the cold Arctic regions of North America, while eagles soar high over the Canadian landscape. Further south, bears live in the large national parks of the United States. The shorelines of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans teem with all kinds of marine life, including rare sea otters. Inland, Large areas of forest are home to many species of mammal and bird. In southern areas, the landscape consists of dry open plains dotted with spiky desert plants. Further south, in the Caribbean, the hot, wet climate is ideal for growing tropical fruits like pineapples, papaya and bananas. On the northern mainland, large concentrations of the population live in modern cities. Within these busy business and cultural centres, lifestyles are fast-moving and ever-changing. When you breathe in deeply to smell something, the air, which contains tiny scent molecules, goes up your nose and into a hollow space called the nasal cavity. Here, high up in your nose, the molecules land on special sensors, which detect smells. The sensors then send signals along a nerve to the smell centre in the brain. It is your brain which interprets the signals as either a smell you know or as a new smell. Meanwhile, the air you breathed in continues its journey down the windpipe. This ship is sailing through the Arctic Ocean. It has been specially built to be able to break through thick ice. Using its strengthened hull, it slowly forces its way forwards. The Arctic Ocean covers the most northerly parts of the Earth, where the climate is always very cold. Although there is no land at the North Pole, parts of the sea here are frozen solid all year round. There are many different faiths and branches of religion being practiced around the world today. In China, the teachings of Confucius have had an underlying influence on the culture and on many other traditional religions. In India, Jainism survives from ancient times. The Jain belief in non-violence has inspired many. To Jains, all life is precious, even that of the smallest insect. The ancient Shinto religion of the Japanese focuses on nature and the worship of spirits and gods associated with the natural world. First, the leaf collects the raw materials it needs for photosynthesis. It sucks up water through the plant stem and absorbs carbon dioxide from the air. Sun shines on the leaf. Its energy is absorbed by the green pigment called chlorophyll. The leaf uses the energy collected by chlorophyll to make the water and carbon dioxide react. This produces a sugar called glucose and also oxygen. The glucose travels out of the leaf and moves to parts of the plant where it is needed for food.
oxygen is a waste product of photosynthesis. It escapes from the leaf into the surrounding air. Brachiosaurus used its long neck to reach food in the treetops. It pulled leaves off with peg-shaped teeth. But it had no teeth for chewing, so the food was swallowed whole. Inside the stomach, food was mixed with chemicals called enzymes, which helped to break it down. The dinosaur also swallowed stones called gastroliths. When the stomach wall contracted, these stones ground together and crushed tough leaves into a liquid paste. The paste could then be pushed into the small intestine to be fully digested. In the Arctic, the winters are cold and snowy, but in the summer it becomes warmer and some of the snow begins to melt. The coat of the long-legged Arctic hare changes with the seasons. In the spring, the Arctic hare's winter coat starts to change from white to brown. Once the change is complete, the hare will be hard to spot and much safer from its enemies. On brown earth, where the snow is thawed, only the white parts of the hare are easy to see. On the snowy ground, only the brown parts are visible. As Luna 9 descended towards the surface of the moon, a metal arm came out from the craft. When the arm touched the moon's surface, the egg-shaped lander separated from the main body of the probe. The lander was specially designed so that it would come to rest the right way up. Next, its outer panels began to unfold. These panels kept the lander steady while the antennae emerged and a television camera appeared. The lander then transmitted the first television pictures of the moon back to Earth. The pyramids of Giza in Egypt were built around four and a half thousand years ago as tombs for the Egyptian pharaohs when they died. The largest pyramid, built for King Khufu, is made up of more than two million blocks of limestone. Beside it stands the pyramid of King Khafra, with three smaller queen's pyramids in front. A large statue with a lion's body and a human head, called the Great Sphinx, watched over the temples and tombs. Rain forms when rising warm air forces water vapor upwards. This water vapor condenses in cold air to form droplets. If these grow large enough, they fall to the ground as rain. Hailstones are formed when water condenses around specks of dust and then freezes as it's swept upwards by air currents within the cloud. When this process is repeated, hailstones build up several layers of ice and become too heavy to remain airborne. Snow forms when water in clouds freezes and forms crystals of ice. These crystals join together to form snowflakes, which fall to the ground. World religions may differ widely in their ideologies and beliefs, but many share common elements. Our beliefs can dictate what we eat and drink. They can also influence the way we dress and how we wear our hair. Music and dance play an important part in the religious rituals and ceremonies of many cultures, as does prayer and meditation. Many religions have leaders who they follow and special places where they come together to worship. Through religion, people hope to find new meaning in their day-to-day -day lives, as well as finding answers to wider questions about the creation of the universe and what happens to us after death. The Grand Canyon is an incredible sight, especially when seen from the air. Millions of years ago, the Colorado River flowed over the land and gradually began to cut a path through the rocks beneath. At the same time, movements within the earth caused the land around the river to rise. Long before people lived on the earth, the river had channeled deep into the rock, creating this spectacular and colourful landscape. A rocket's main engine produces thrust that pushes the rocket upwards against the downwards pull of gravity. The rocket rapidly gains speed and height, and after only two or three minutes, it's travelling much faster than a jet aeroplane. Once the rocket's first stage is empty of fuel, it's dropped, or jettisoned, back to Earth. The rocket's second stage then takes over. 
Minutes later, the second stage runs out of fuel, and it too is jettisoned. The third stage thrusts the payload out of the top of the Earth's atmosphere and into orbit. The Earth has four seasons because it stays tilted at the same angle of 23.5 degrees throughout the year as it travels around the Sun. In the spring, it becomes warmer in the northern half or hemisphere of the Earth as it faces towards the Sun. In the summer, the northern hemisphere faces directly towards the Sun and receives more direct sunlight and therefore more heat, and the days are longer. In the autumn, the days become cooler in the northern hemisphere as it starts to face away from the sun. In the winter, the northern hemisphere faces further away from the sun and receives less direct sunlight and therefore less heat, and the days are shorter. When an object such as a ship is in water, it pushes aside or displaces some of the water. An upwards force called upthrust pushes back. When the upthrust is exactly the same as the weight of the ship, the ship floats. If the ship is loaded with cargo, its hull sinks deeper, displacing even more water because the ship is heavier. At the same time, an increased upthrust balances the heavier weight of the loaded ship, and it continues to float. To make a hot air balloon lift off, a gas burner heats the air inside the balloon's envelope. The hot air rises, making the envelope expand. Because the hot air trapped inside the balloon is lighter than the cooler air outside, the balloon rises and floats upwards. When the burners are turned off, the air cools and the balloon sinks back towards the ground. When you use a corkscrew to pull a cork from a bottle, Several simple machines are working together. The handle is a wheel and axle that turns the screw. As the screw turns, it pulls its way into the cork. The toothed wheels are gears that lift the arms, ready to push down and lift the cork. The two lifting arms are levers. As you push them down, the gears pass on the force to the central screw shaft, which pulls the cork out of the bottle with a pop. The world today is home to almost 6,000 million people, made up of many different races, cultures and ethnic groups. The world's population is as diverse as it is scattered. As different societies have emerged, they have developed their own codes of conduct, making rules and creating ways of enforcing these laws. Advances in travel and communication have meant that different cultures now live side by side, though not always in perfect harmony. Light from the sun only lights up half of the Earth's surface at a time. Because the Earth turns or rotates, any point on its surface moves into light and then darkness. It takes 24 hours for the Earth to complete one rotation. And this explains why we have day and night. The Earth is one of nine planets in the solar system. All the planets move around the sun in paths called orbits. Earth is the third planet from the sun one year is the length of time it takes Earth to make one complete orbit. Planets closer to the Sun orbit more quickly than the Earth, while those further away move more slowly. Asia is the largest continent and home to over half the people on our planet. From modern high-tech cities like Hong Kong to the magnificent natural landscapes of the Himalaya mountains, it is a land of striking contrasts. South of the Himalayas, lies India. The people of India lived under British rule for many years. Today, evidence of Western influence can still be seen. In parts of the country, fierce tigers still roam the jungle. Rice is the world's most important food crop, and traditional farming methods across Asia remain unchanged. On the island of Bali, elaborate dances are performed at beautiful temples. Despite the advance of the modern world, Old traditions still live on. The Amazon River cuts through South America at the equator. Along its path, tropical rainforest stretches for thousands of miles. This unique habitat is home to many species of animal and plant, but is under threat as areas are cleared to make way for new roads and villages. To the west are the Galapagos Islands, where strange creatures like the marine iguana live. 
the largest country in South America is Brazil. Each year, in the city of Rio de Janeiro, there is a huge colorful carnival that lasts for five days and nights. In Peru, descendants of the Inca people keep alive ancient traditions such as weaving. Animals called llamas are farmed for their wool. They also provide milk and are used to carry goods along the narrow winding roads of the Andes Mountains. If you could go on a trip that took you speeding away from Earth and into space, what would you see? First, you might find the planet Mars, which is the fourth planet from the Sun, after Mercury, Venus and Earth. Next, you might pass through the asteroid belt, a collection of chunks of rock orbiting the Sun like millions of tiny planets. Later, you might pass the planet Saturn, with its spectacular rings. The planets in the asteroid belt are in the solar system, which is part of a group of millions of stars called the Milky Way galaxy. The Milky Way is just one of millions of galaxies that inhabit space. At the end of your trip, you would see the whole universe, which consists mainly of empty space. In 1985, Hurricane Elena hit the Florida coast of the United States with devastating results. Rain and winds, traveling at speeds faster than most cars, lashed at trees, buildings, roads and vehicles, causing chaos all around. Police set up roadblocks to stop people trying to return to their wrecked homes, while rescuers worked in winds so strong that it was almost impossible to stand up. During the first two days, the hurricane caused an estimated $8 million worth of damage and destruction without showing any signs of calming down. To dive down underwater, special valves in the submarine's ballast tanks are opened. This lets water into the tanks, making the submarine heavier so it sinks. To rise, compressed air is released from another tank. This forces the water out and the submarine rises to the surface as it becomes lighter. The whole process of swallowing only takes a few seconds, but during this time a number of things happen. To begin with, the tongue pushes a lump of slimy, chewed up food into your throat. As the food touches the back of the throat, the soft palate rises to stop food going into your nose. A flap, called the epiglottis, also moves to cover the entrance to your windpipe. This stops food going down the wrong way. Muscles in the wall of the esophagus then squeeze the food down towards your stomach. This pushing process is called peristalsis. Tears are made all the time, not just when you cry. They keep the surface of your eyes moist and clean. Tears are made in a tiny gland under your top eyelid. Each time you blink, a tear flows out of the gland and onto the surface of your eye. As your eyelid closes, the tear is spread across the front of the eye and eventually passes through the tear duct and into your nose. After the First World War, the mood in America was one of celebration. These flappers are dancing the Charleston to music from a jazz band. But not everyone wanted to celebrate. Some people thought that alcoholic drinks caused violence, and in 1920, alcohol was banned. The economy boomed, and people were wealthier than ever before. But in 1929, prices on the stock market crashed, and many companies were forced to close. Millions of people lost their jobs and had to line up for free food at public soup kitchens. Outside the cities, a drought in the Midwest turned the soil to dust, so farmers could no longer grow crops. Many packed up their belongings and headed west to look for work in California. 
Many scientists believe that the universe began with a massive explosion called the Big Bang. After its birth, the universe was probably a hot, dense fireball, much smaller than a speck of dust. The enormous force from the explosion caused the universe to get bigger and bigger. In less than a second, the universe grew to about three times the size of the sun and continued to expand rapidly. Tornadoes begin when warm air rises violently to create big thunderclouds. In the giant clouds, rising updrafts are whipped into a spiral by high winds. As the spiral of air tightens, it speeds up like a spinning top. Soon a whirling white funnel of air hangs from the cloud. When the funnel hits the ground, there's an explosion of flying dirt. The spiral tightens, and winds roar around the spiral at incredibly high speeds. The tornado bounces across the land, sweeping anything in its path high into the air. Steam locomotives are fueled by burning coal in a firebox. As the fire heats up, Hot air and smoke flow into a set of tubes in a large tank of water called a boiler. Because the tubes get incredibly hot, the water starts to boil and steam rises up, collecting inside a dome. Pipes connect the dome to special cylinders. Inside the cylinders, the steam pressure pushes a piston to and fro. Excess steam escapes up a blast pipe through the stack. The moving pistons are linked by rods to the wheels. The rods change the to and fro movement into a powerful force that turns the wheels of the locomotive. A tsunami begins when a sudden movement in the ocean bed creates great surges of water. These travel as fast as a jet plane. Hidden in deep water, the tsunami passes swiftly and silently underneath boats. But as each surge nears the coast, it rears up to its full height. When the first wave rises, water drains from the beach and then crashes down, causing terrible damage on the shore. Each tsunami retreats as quickly as it came with a dramatic sucking sound. An erupting volcano is a spectacular sight. The Earth's fiery inside breaks through the surface, throwing out molten rock called lava. A lava lake has built up in the crater of this volcano in Hawaii. It overflows and the runny lava spills down the hillside in great rivers. Pockets of trapped gas escape and catch fire in the incredible heat. When lava cools in the air, it forms a black crust on the surface. It slows down and eventually hardens to form a bleak, rocky landscape. But plants will soon begin to grow again. from spectacular high-board dives to the stunning accuracy of synchronized swimming, water sports can be a thrill and a delight to watch. The skill and stamina involved in many of these sports is breathtaking. Competing with elements like the wind and the sea, participants in water sports events have to rely heavily on favorable weather and specialized equipment in order to be able to perform well. Often pursuing their sport in dangerous conditions, exhilaration is what drives many enthusiasts on. The spectacular Iguazu Falls in South America lie on the border between Brazil and Argentina. The wide Iguazu River reaches the edge of the falls and the brown, muddy water tumbles down the vast U-shaped cliff. Surrounded by tropical rainforest full of animals and birds, the Thundering Falls are one of South America's most magnificent sights. Track racing is full of thrills and spills. Cyclists can reach incredible speeds as they whiz around the oval track with its specially banked sides. Road races can cover gruelling distances. The most famous is the Tour de France, with hundreds of riders taking part each year. In cyclocross, the ground can be rough and uneven and requires skill and concentration from those taking part as they navigate the course. In all wheel sports, the competitors must be in complete control of their machines at all times.
Sunlight travels through the atmosphere and warms the Earth's surface. The heat then radiates upwards. Some of it escapes from the atmosphere, but most is trapped by certain gases and redirected towards the Earth. This natural process regulates the Earth's temperature. Air pollution creates an excess of some gases, which trap too much heat. This can lead to global warming. The First World War broke out in 1914 and was fought mainly in northern France and Belgium. The soldiers on both sides fought very bravely and lived in terrible conditions in cold, mud-filled trenches. As well as guns, the soldiers fought with tanks for the first time and also planes and battleships. Many millions of soldiers were killed. At the end of the war in 1918, a peace treaty was signed and there were great celebrations in Europe and America. People hoped there would never be such terrible war again. World War II started when German troops invaded Poland in September 1939, under orders from Adolf Hitler. By 1941, the United States, the Soviet Union and Japan had joined the conflict. Bombs were dropped on people at home, as well as soldiers. In Europe, Many cities were destroyed. By 1944, the Germans were weakening. On D-Day, Allied troops invaded northern France and began to recapture Europe. In 1945, US troops took the islands of Iwo Jima and Okinawa in the Pacific Ocean. Then, America dropped the world's first atomic bomb on Hiroshima, forcing Japan to surrender. Most of the city was destroyed.